Okay, we have absolute mayhem going on in the cockpit at the C5. <laughs> <laughs> So we're here today in Los Sueños, Costa Rica, the most beautiful place in the world, and we're standing with a group of people that have put a year's worth of planning into a Blue Marlin satellite tag study. Great Fish Tag Research is super proud to be here with this amazing group of people. We've got John Brownlee, who partnered with us, Will Drost, and all the guys from Maverick. We're standing on two of the best boats in this country. These guys are experts at catching fish, and tonight we're gonna run all night to one of the sea mounts offshore to fish tomorrow morning on this epic Blue Marlin bite. I don't know how to describe the reports we're seeing coming out of here, and our goal tomorrow is to tag three really nice Blue Marlin, healthy Blue Marlin, and track them and see where they go. These satellite tags pop off. In six months, we're gonna get all the data of all the movement of all three fish. We come down here very confident in catching these fish and getting this done in one day because of the local guys that we're gonna fish with. These guys are the best there is, all these guys in Costa Rica are top-notch bill fishermen, and, and I can't thank these guys enough. This project was sponsored by the people at Maverick, Will Drost, John Brownlee, and the whole team. Marina Los Sueños paid for one of the tags, and our good friend Marlon and Dick Tanner from CR Primo. I don't know how to explain it when we get all the sponsors on the boat and we get going. We've got Seagar Fluorocarbon, Accurate Reels. Everybody's been a part of this program. A year in the making, and here we are. Thank you so much, John, for having us. And You're welcome. Very excited. Here. Sorry to grill up to see before the sun comes up to see that marlin up in the spread and everybody else not even thinking about breakfast yet. And then sundown, they're still biting. It just, it's just a thrill that you can't describe. I wish I was going. I'm glad marlin's <laughs> taking my place. I love it when people come up to me and start asking, what, what fishing do you like? And the only thing I can brag about is here in Costa Rica, going out for Blue Marlin. You know, and it's in my backyard. So I'm really excited to be a part of the team and just waiting to be tomorrow morning. Start hooking up those blues. If you want to get involved in this type of fishing, you can look up these guys here in Los Sueños. Tomorrow we're going to fish on two Maverick boats. One's 42 feet, Yep. one's 50 foot. This 50 footer we're standing on is a brand new boat. Sea Keeper. Yep. Yep. And we've got our good friend Stu Weber. He's an Australian fellow that come all the way from California. Rebecca Ehrenberg. Hey, from guys, Pisces. Go get him. Go get us. <laughs> Pisces Sport Fishing, our top taggers in Cabo San Lucas, and she came down to be a part of this. Alex Henry, sponsor, Southernmost Apparel. He makes all the gear that we wear, all these shirts he provided. Trip of a lifetime. Behind yeah. him is Christian. He's hanging out back there. He's our local rep in the area. We got Gallo, we got Boyo, we got Justin, Poe, Accurate Reels. These guys are coming on strong to support our tagging. And all the people involved in this program have just been awesome. I can't thank the ownership here and the management of Los Sueños for A, letting us do it, and B, writing a check to show that they believe in what we're doing here too. It's really an amazing program. So it's about quarter to nine. We're here at Los Sueños. It's raining lightly. It's a rainy season here in Costa Rica, and we're getting ready to go about 100 miles, running all night at about 10 knots on these two beautiful Maverick boats. We're gonna do our best to wake up at sunrise, being on the seamount, and get tight on some blue marlin. It's unbelievable. bed, hooking up Blue Marlin at the Seamounts, here off of Los Sueños, Costa Rica. One already tagged. Okay, we have absolute mayhem going on in the cockpit at the C5. <laughs> we have absolute mayhem breaking out on the back of the boat. The Blue Marlin are everywhere. We have four tight rods. Okay, four, count them. We have four tight rods on the back of the boat. The fishing is incredible here. What's going on? It's unbelievable. I don't 
don't know, five, six fish come in to spread. Four hooked up. Every bait come down. And every oh, fish going in a different direction. All right, we got them all back under control right now. <laughs> okay? Everybody's pointed the same way. Nice fish. Nice fish. I think of all fish. Deploy the satellite tag. In there. Good job. And there she goes. Swimming away with the satellite tag. Yeah, good job. Woo! Let's just head a little. Done. Nice. That's it! Double shot! And Remora. Hey guys, Justin here with Acura. We're here off the coast of Costa Rica. We're 100 miles offshore doing this Blue Marlin tagging study. We got the tagging study in the bag. We got three satellite tags deployed in beautiful, healthy blue marlin. Uh, one boat's got eight releases. One boat's got a dozen releases. And we're starting to mess around. Right now, we're going to try to catch them on the fly. I uh, jumped on one, from one boat to the next. We did a transfer 100 miles offshore with the big man. And it worked out. And we're going to see if we can't catch one on the fly. It should be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to it. Not only a great fishing day, but you also accomplished some real meaningful science with the three sat tags as well. So it's like a two for one. Yes, the reason for us coming here was to put the three sat tags on these fish. Um, we're very, the whole nature of the study is to see if these fish really far offshore this time of year are the same fish that we get to see come real tight in December, January, that time of year. I mean, that's the nature of this work. I can't wait to see where they go, what they do. I've never seen as many blue marlin piled up in one spot in my life. So it, that's the best part of the whole deal, the science. And these young people, I told Rebecca and Poncho and these guys, this is for them. We're old. So Speak for yourself. Well, he is, Alex is. <laughs> hey, but, uh, wait, wait. I, I'm older than you, what am I saying? But, right. Um, I think if people understand this, that an archival sat tag records data where the fish swims. Um, I don't know if these are the kind that transmit when they come to the surface. Some do. Eventually, they pop off after a period of time, and all that data is uploaded to uh, a satellite. And scientists can take it and figure out where the fish has been, how deep it's gone, how it's traveled, how it feeds. And the really cool thing about it is if they get found by chance on a beach somewhere, then you get all the data. Then if somebody mails it back, there's usually a reward on there, and they can get every single bit of data out of there. When we're lucky enough to get one back, that's where you get the, the home run. Yes, sir. We had one actual sap tag last year on rooster fish get found here. We're now getting all the back end data. But uh, this tag, these tags we set today were for six months because the shorter the duration, the more detailed analysis right. we're going to get. And uh, I, I can't wait to see where they're going, if they're the same body of fish. But uh, how about Poyo? Tell us about what happened there today. I am so happy to take a part of this project. I am so happy to help <laughs> my friend Bill because uh, the best day of fishing and he never ever ever had Rebecca got the first blue see, see the face of all, all people happy happy right yeah